your host for Motor Week 93, John Davis. Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week 93. We're glad to have you with us. In the world of the Chevrolet Corvette, the name Reeves Calloway holds a special meaning. Mr. Calloway has long been known for turning Chevy's already formidable Corvettes into limited edition turbocharged express trains. So many of us were surprised to find that the latest Corvette to wear the Callaway name does without the turbocharging that made these cars famous. It's called the Supernatural, and for good reason. With performance levels that are close to being unearthly, the Supernatural gives up nothing by being Connecticut-based Callaway Advanced Technologies first non-turbo Corvette. No apologies are needed for any car that can spring from 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds or cover the quarter mile in 12.8 seconds at a breathtaking 112 miles per hour. All this and street legal makes the Supernatural one supercar to be taken very seriously. The full name is Supernatural 400. It's based on a heavily modified Corvette LT1 even more powerful Supernatural 425 and ZR1-based 475 models are also available. Our 400 test car came courtesy of the good folks at Bridgestone, who use it as a demonstrator for their new Expedia run-flat tire system. And we doubt that a higher profile demonstrator could be found, with its modified bodywork based on the 254 mile per hour Callaway hammer and brilliant green paint, this car turned heads everywhere. Of course, it helps when you have the thundering sound of a specially built exhaust system announcing your arrival. Along with a new cam, reshaped combustion chambers, ported and polished intake manifolds, and a new black box, it not only boosts horsepower to 403, but torque to 376 pound-feet. The free-breathing Callaway engine revs harder than the stock unit and delivers its increased power in a more linear manner. But power is no good if you can't use it, so the Supernatural rides on a modified suspension that replaces the standard Corvette leaf springs with a coilover shock design. The shocks are also revalved. The result is smoother side-to-side -side transitions in corners. Front-end plow is also reduced. And to stop the 400, Callaway uses massive competition-grade cross-drilled disc and Brembo four-piston calipers with anti-lock. These powerful binders stop the car from 60 in an average distance of 104 feet, but like many racing brakes, require a good deal of effort at the pedal. Out on real roads, a driver can quickly tire of the Supernatural 400's prominent exhaust note. The modified suspension sometimes delivers a harsh ride on broken pavement, but for all its power, the modified motor still burns fuel efficiently. EPA mileage ratings are 15 city, 23 highway. We averaged 18 miles per gallon. Our test car's glaring purple interior is anything but average. Fortunately, more conventional colors or a full Connolly leather treatment are available. No functional modifications are made to the stock Corvette cockpit, and that suits us just fine, since it's one of the best sports car interiors available. The complete Supernatural package, including engine, suspension, interior, and bodywork, adds $42,705 to the cost of a standard Corvette LT1. This boosts the total price of our test car to $77,300. A lot of money even for this level of performance. Fortunately, more budget-minded enthusiasts can pick and choose just the features that they want. The run-flat tire technology of the Expedias with their special wheels and the Corvette's optional factory low-tire pressure warning system alone cost $5,000. Hardly cheap, but the potential gains are enormous. Despite Bridgestone's modest claims of running 50 miles at 55 miles per hour with no air, these tires have already run over 200 miles in testing. They accomplish this through the use of a special rubber compound and support inserts that stiffen the tire sidewalls. The GM low tire pressure warning system is needed so that the driver will reduce speed. We found little difference in slow speed handling with the left front tire totally deflated. Bridgestone's run-flat system is only currently available as an option on Callaway Corvettes or as an aftermarket edition on 1988 or newer stock Corvettes. But the company hopes to see the technology available on a wide range of cars in the near future. If so, Bridgestone will have competition from Goodyear, which has just announced its own run-flat tire, 
the Eagle EMT, or Extended Mobility Tire, which will be original equipment on all 1995 Chevrolet Corvettes. It uses side support technology similar to that of the Expedia, but it can be used on conventional wheels, significantly reducing the potential cost. The EMTs use the same GM low-pressure warning system as the Bridgestones. Like the Bridgestones, we found there was little difference to handling and feel with one of the Goodyear EMTs deflated. As long as you drive carefully, the EMT feels like it could easily stand the wear required to get you to a distant repair facility. So there you have it, America's state-of-the-art sports car and state-of-the-art tires. The Callaway Supernatural 400, with its blistering performance without turbo boost, is truly inspiring. The fact that it doesn't need hot air in the tires either is also uplifting. Yes, we are impressed with the super combinations this small company in Connecticut puts together. But then for Reeves Callaway, it just comes naturally.